finding yourself into nice comfortable position. Make sure your back, neck and spine is straight or you may put a pillow or a blanket under your buttocks so that your spine becomes straight and helps you sit easily, maybe more comfortable. And take a moment to come into the present moment. I always like to start with coming into the present moment so that we can leave our past and future behind or aside and stay in the present for the time we're practicing the asanas. Taking a few long deep breaths may help you bringing coming into the present moment. Take a long deep breath and breathe out. Another deep breath in and breathe out. Another deep breath in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. That's good. Now once you are in the present moment, and we will begin with some exercises for your neck. So bringing your neck, your ear towards your shoulder without lifting the shoulder. Very gently, slow movement to the other side, back to the center, other side, and just feel nice and stretch onto your neck. A gentle stretch, doesn't have to be forceful stretch, and feeling good. That's right. You can combine it with the breathing. Exhale as you bend down, inhale up, and with exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, and back to the center. Now we're going to do forward and backward, so inhale, exhale down, chin to the chest, gently moving forward, forward, and very slow and gentle back up but without pushing too far back you don't want to go all the way back like this you just want to go gentle back so you can feel slight stretch onto your front throat front neck back to the center forward so you can feel a gentle stretch to you onto your back neck breathe out breathe in and breathe out Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Back to the center. Now turn your face towards the right, looking far right, but without straining. So far right means this far, not that far. So gently rotating your Neck to the side, left, center, right, center, left, center, right, center, left. Back to the center. Now interlock your fingers and rotating your shoulders, working out on your shoulders and shoulder blades, removing any tension or nuts in your shoulder blades. Rotation gentle movement. Five to ten times. And the way around. Just 
staying in the body onto your mat in the present moment. Anytime you find yourself wandering, come back into the present moment. Very good. Now bringing your left hand onto the right knee, right hand on the back and gentle twist into your spine. Very good. Keep going as much as possible, but of course not that much. So you're doing again the same very gentle twist, center, inhale, exhale to the other side. Gentle twist. Back to the center. Other side. Back to the center. Feeling good. Other side. Back to the center. An excellent pose for your spine, for your nervous system. One more time, to the left and come back to the center. Join the sole of the feet together, holding with your hands, back straight, make sure again that you're sitting on the pillow or a blanket under your buttocks so that it makes your body posture straight. Gently rock your thighs, your knees, go ahead, close your eyes and feel into the poses see how you feel when you're performing them and how good it is for your body very good gently stop now take your feet slightly forward you want to hunch for one one breath inhale with exhale, hunch completely and try bring your forehead to the toe. You just have to try to bring the forehead to the toe. Don't have to go all the way down. Stay there. And if possible, keep going slightly down with each breathe you exhale. A nice stretch to all over the body, your hips, your thighs, your back. And very gently come back up with inhalation. Stretching legs out forward. Bringing your hand onto the, onto the back, resting backward so that you can rest your back a little bit. And then you're gonna work out on your feet. So rotating your feet around, letting your each and every muscles work at the side. 5-10 movement each side and shake your legs let your leg become alive active that's good now bring your feet together come straight sit up position bending your right knee holding with your hands this way and try bring your chest towards the legs so pushing your chest towards the leg with your hands and then stretching the leg working out your knee joints back and front part of the legs shin bones and calf muscles very good five ten times rotating the knee joint at the same time rotating the feet you see Five, ten times, one time, and then another way around. And you will see already that it's going to do a gentle workout to your body, and you're still feeling okay. And your body muscles can still work out without straining.
and repeating the same rotation on the other side. Very good. Stretch your legs out. Sit straight once again, hold with your hands interlocking finger and very gentle movement with your hands as if you are grinding rice. One side, let all the problem go away with the body and also let your body work out at the side. And make sure anytime you start to feel tension in your body or a strain, go ahead, bring your hand back and rest. You don't want to push into anything that is going to tense you over. Be working up the yoga positions, yoga asanas, so that you can feel good, relax your body, let your tension and worries go out of the body, not fill in with those things. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and try one more time, five to ten times one side, and then five, ten times on the side. Very good. Bend your knees. And sit on your buttocks. And let, go ahead, bring your hand onto your knee. Close your eyes and rest in this position for a few minutes. And after that, take out, take one leg at a time, bring the right leg, place it near the knee like this, then this hand onto this knee and the elbow of the right hand on the right knee and resting your face onto your hands. And then gently change the position, so bringing your right leg on the ground, sitting on the right foot, left foot, Going out next to the right knee, right hand on the right knee, elbow on the knee and then resting again, either this way. And again, if that's not comfortable, then you can go ahead and rest your hand in this position. Excellent balancing pose. And again, sitting there for 30 to 30 seconds to one minute. And after that, come back into Bajrasana again. And then open your knee. And Bring your palm on the ground, inhale, extend your chest up and with exhale, going forward, bringing your forehead on the ground, child pose, stay in this position and you can rest for between 5 to 10 minutes, but here we're going to hold for 30 seconds so that I can continue practicing the positions that you need to be practicing. After 5 to 10 minutes, gently come back up using your palms. Bring your feet out, legs out, stress them and lie down on your back. Joining the sole of the feet together, dropping your knees out. 
bringing your hands up over the head and interlocking the hand and resting in this position again for 5-10 minutes. After 5-10 minutes, stretch your legs out, bring your hands up overhead, give a good stretch the body, inhale, stretch, stretch, exhale and release. And bending your right knee and bringing your right knee towards the left all the way. You're giving a nice twist to your spine, looking towards the right. Stay in this position between 30 seconds to 1 minute. Make sure you don't want to push, so wherever you feel tension, you can go in Shavasana and rest. But normally this position should be really relaxing and twisting, so you will feel great. After 30 seconds to 1 minute, come back to the center, stretching your leg out, bending your left knee and dropping your left knee towards the right and looking towards the left. After 30 seconds to 1 minute, come back to the center, bending your both knees, shaking your back slightly, hugging your knees and holding your position for 30 seconds. Make sure your head is not low falling forward, so keep, it, keep your chin tucked in. About 30 seconds to 1 minute. After that, we're going to repeat the twist. So, in this position, you're going to take both the legs gently, placing both the legs with the care. So, you may want to have your hands supporting your legs and falling gently, falling, falling, so don't collapse. And then twist. So, bringing your right hand to the right, looking to the right, and keeping your left hand supporting your legs. 10 second to 30 second. Back to the center again using your core muscles if possible or you can use your hands. So if it's not easy, you can bring yourself all the way, bring one leg at a time to the center. And then going again to the other side using your either hands or core. Twisting. Stay for 30, 10 seconds to 30 seconds. And back to the center again, one leg at a time. Stretch your legs out. And we're going to rest in Shavasana for about five minutes.
Bring your awareness onto your breathing and seeing how your breath comes in and out. When breath comes in, your stomach rises. When you breathe out, the stomach falls. Continue focusing the same process of breathing, five minutes and rest. And if you sleep in during this time, it's completely fine. So go ahead, just completely relax. After five minutes, gently back into your body. Move your toes, fingers, hands and legs, feet together, and stretch yourself. Bring your hands up over your head, give a good stretch. Exhale and release. Take your time, there's no hurry, no rush. Whenever you're ready, turn to your right. 
It takes a photo of your palm and sit. Keep your eyes closed until you are completely back into the moment, into the now and ready for the day. Very slowly and gently open your eyes.